All right, so this Friday is week four, I think, for Palace, and it's actually kind of an interesting week for a couple of reasons, or mainly just one reason, uh, their collaboration that they have. Before I jump into that, though, the drop is this Friday at 10 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, so you can convert it to wherever you live if you're wondering about that. And then also, um, shout out to Palace Drop. I'll put a link in the description. It's a new website and Instagram page, all that stuff. Um, solely focused on Palace, very similar to like Supreme Community, how they have their website where you can vote, check out drop lists, check out content from the community, all that great stuff. So if you do like Palace and don't have somebody that supplies that information, that might be a place to start. So it's very rare to see collaborations from Palace. Um, usually when you see a collaboration from Palace, it's just something like the Adidas collaboration, which you see all the time. This one is also very different from the Polo collaboration because this one, which makes it even more interesting, is that there's a Triferg designed by the designer. And with that being said, the collaboration is with Jean-Charles de Castlebach. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, probably murdered the last name. So. Uh, John Charles though, Jean Charles. Um, so I don't know a whole lot about this designer. I've actually never heard of him before, um, but it looks like he does have uh, like his main store or he is stationed in Paris. And then also his most popular work on here, which is just like Wikipedia, I think is uh, listed as a coat of teddy bears worn by Madonna. And then also some other people that wore it. Um, but yeah, he's been in the game for a while, obviously has some clout. It's pretty cool to see Palace doing collaborations like this because you almost never see Palace doing collaborations. And I really like the route that Palace is going this season with uh, accessory items like the ice trays and stuff like that. I thought that was really cool to see them do something like that. And it's also a little bit uncharacteristic of Palace. And then same goes for this collaboration. It's just kind of like out of the ordinary for them. But it is a cool collaboration, so we'll jump into some of the pieces and take a look at it. So most notably this drop, you have the Triferg collaboration, uh, Jean-Charles uh, Triferg. I'm not exactly sure what they're calling it, but basically you have a Triferg in red, blue, and yellow, and a bunch of different like hand signs. One has pointer finger, one has peace sign, and then one's doing the like rock sign or whatever you want to call that. Um, but yeah, so basically you got that and it's on a hoodie and then also a tee and those come in three different colorways. I believe it's gray, white, and black. Also for all of those colorways, the Triferg stays the same color. I really like these. I feel like they could have done a little bit more though. Um, but that being said, it is a pretty cool Triferg in my opinion and it's a cool collaboration piece. Um, I think they went safe on this. I feel like they could have done it a lot more wild like I just said. Um, and maybe had it turn out a lot cooler, but this is kind of more like a tame Triferg, and I feel like they did it this way because it was more safe. Uh, moving on in the collaboration, there's also a deck of playing cards. I'm not sure if this comes in multiple colorways. I could have sworn I saw a blue colorway also, but right now I'm just looking at the red deck of cards. Um, then they also have a P hat. It looks like they turned the hat into like a bird of some sort. Um, but yeah, I, I'm also a fan of that. It comes in four different colorways, a bunch of stuff. Um, and then additional for the collection, you got the um, rayon shirt, um, follows the same pattern as the um, plain cards. Basically just a short sleeve button up with that same pattern. Not a huge fan of that. You got the matching bucket hat, same thing, not a huge fan. And then you have this knit crew neck, which is also very similar to the plain cards, has plain card themes. Um, on one side you have like the king and then the other side um, striped and whatnot. I do like this crew neck, not something that I would wear. Um, maybe if it was just like all stripes, but um, yeah, it is, a, it is a cool piece. I appreciate this collab a lot. So what else we got dropping? We have the Zyme t-shirt, which a lot of people are loving. Comes in four different colorways, most notably the black one. Um, basically just says Palace and then London underneath it. And I think that's a back print. And then there also might be something on the front. Um, some shell cargo pants, just plain. Um, the Electro Shell P6 panel, which is a P hat. And then you got some like, some wild designs in the center. Um, the real tree bun sack. Now this is what I was talking about a couple videos back. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I really like the silhouette that they use for this or the item that they actually use for this, where it has the straps um, that kind of like go around the side. I do like that where it's like more of a hiking mountain-esque um, type thing. 
rather than just like a little tiny fanny pack. <laughs> and then to wrap up this week's drop list, you have the Wave Runner shell stuff. Uh, you got the shell shorts and then the shell top. And I've never been a fan of this palace font that they have. Um, it's kind of like some like Blade Runner, but smushed even more, um, like kind of a similar font to that. And I'm just not a huge fan of anything they've really used it on yet. Um, especially this piece, I don't think that colorway just with how they like have it blocked off and then also that font really match too well. So that's it for the drop list this week. Um, I'm a fan of this collaboration. I might go for one of the Trifergs. I think the Trifergs are pretty cool. And like I said, they're pretty safe. It'll be interesting to see how fast they sell out. I would imagine they would go pretty fast and have decent resell. But yeah, I'm a fan of this week. Uh, I think the collaboration really makes it. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you guys a fan of this collaboration? Would you have liked to see more, more pieces, maybe wilder pieces, but yeah. Leave a like, subscribe if you're not. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.